stop all these siege tanks now, those drones really desperately trying to run for their lives. Hello everyone, this is Kurode giving you a shoutcast in Game 3 in a best of 7 series between VV Gaming and Vile Gaming. Game 3 taking place here on Shakura's Plateau. I know what you guys are wondering, where's Matron? What happened? Unfortunately, the recording, I forgot to record Game 3 and now I have to recast the game. And it is going to promise to be a very interesting game. I do know the outcome, but I did wait 24 hours before I re-decided re to re recast this game at least. So it is not so, so fresh in my memory. Taking a look at Titan Tawning, Titan spawning as the red Zerg on the top left-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Vile Hawk spawning on the bottom right-hand side of the map as the blue Zerg. So this is going to be Zerg versus Zerg. Vile Hawk did really well at... Um, I believe MLG Anaheim ML at MLG Anaheim. I believe he was one round away from being able to make it to the to the um, the championship play. He actually got eliminated, I believe, by Todd and um, right before the championship round. So yeah, very very interesting game. Hawk Vile Hawk, a, a kind of an unknown player prior to MLG Anaheim, but he is part of Team Vile along with Spanishiwa and some of the other players out there. As we now see an extractor pool coming in from Titan. And this is pretty much going to be a mirror match so far. You can see both players opening up with very similar builds. And as they open up with similar builds, you can also see that their overlords are also making a move out as well. So this is going to become almost like a true mirror match where you can see that the overlords are making their way out. You can see that the overlords adjusting for their correction as well. The overlord did not scout the other overlord. That's why it is moving down into this position here. It looks like Hawk has realized that as well, not catching an overlord as both overlords now make their way into the center portion of the map. Drones, spawning pool, overlord timings seem to be pretty much exactly the same by both of these players. And as we've said before, StarCraft 2 is a game of seconds. You're trying to get a small advantage and then trying to put down enough pressure to turn that small advantage into a larger advantage and eventually rinse and repeat that until it does become a victory. Nothing really happening so far in this stage of the game. It is only three minutes into it so far, so... Let's take our time as both players now training up that queen, getting the metabolic boost, and training up zerglings at the same rate once more. Yeah, so we'll see what these players try to go for. The metabolic boost will be coming in, and there's going to be a perhaps maybe a one to two second difference between that. So both players are pretty much going to be pretty even. As we now see a drone making its way out from a hawk, so hawk maybe going for an earlier hatchery than his opponent. His opponent, no, his opponent now going in as well. So Titan perhaps looking to go for a hatchery as well, but no, deciding to build a roach warren instead. So that drone moved down. And then moving back up after he caught some of those Zerglings making a, a, making a move out. This is more of a precautionary measure. The drone now perhaps trying to hide itself as the Zerglings are going to perhaps engage a little bit. A little bit of Zergling micro wars here on Shakura's Plateau. As the Hatchery will finally come in to play the Roach Warren. Um, Roach Warren about... The, a, a little bit of a lead for I believe Titan. But the Hatchery very very much of a lead for Hawk at this stage. As both sides just sit back and try to figure out what exactly the other player will be going for. Zerglings now should be getting that metabolic boost in just a moment. And this will become a, a Zergling war in just a moment. Six Zerglings versus eight. Eight obviously having the, the superior numbers and should be able to win out. And now both sides getting that metabolic boost at almost the same exact time. And now a larger number coming in from Hawk. Hawk up to 10. And now we are going to see t up to 10 from Titan as well. Taking a look at the mirror production. 19 drones versus 15. So that is a significant drone advantage for Titan right now. So he is going to have the stronger economy at least for a little while longer. But we are going to have more roaches coming in from Hawk. The roaches do have a bit of a trek in order to make it make his way all the way all, all the way across the map. So I would say that if Titan is able to hold off all of these roaches, he should be able to come out with a significant lead as the roaches are now making their way out. We can see a queen down over here as well, not yet spawning larva. Overlords are in position. Another roach now positioning out here. And you got to remember, both sides have a lot of information on the center portion of the map. Zergling's looking to swarm as well. Roaches over here on the high ground. As a spine crawler is being built, a second spine crawler going to be added as well. So two spine crawlers and a couple zerglings here as the roaches and the zerglings perhaps going to try to test the water. Zerglings getting in a little bit of a hit there, but deciding not to engage. As now we should be seeing perhaps an, a movement coming out. 
a hawk does have the larger army he has more roaches so he should be able to put some pressure down and anytime you have a zerg army that's not attacking that is lost resources essentially as that is an additional drone that you could ha be having that could be mining away we can see a couple spine crawlers two of them to be exact as we are now seeing the zerglings once again trying to test this ramp once more production value we can see six more drones being trained up so titan once again gonna take the lead in the economic stage of this game as the zerglings look to perhaps swing up and around and run through the center portion here extractor is also being built as well it looks like we're going to be running off of two gas for titan meanwhile only one gas for hawk taking a look at the income tab 35 or 34 drones versus 27 now as the zerglings are just in a little bit of a cold war they don't want to engage one zergling perhaps able to slip by that zergling gonna simply run up the ramp and try to get as much scouting information as possible but no gonna run into a very very large number of roaches and i don't believe that these two spine crawlers will be able to hold this off in time we can see more zerglings also being trained up roaches are trying to be added we can see spine crawlers are being repositioned here so titan trying to make sure that no none of those units will be able to slip through that easily another evolution chamber coming in here as well as the roaches are going to be walking up the ramp drones coming off the mineral line and in comes the battle here roaches and zerglings both sides engaging more roaches now trying to push in as well the drones trying to fight back this attack here but there, a lot of damage is being dealt the roaches are unable to engage against those spine crawlers as the drones are able to slip back through there there were six workers killed um, but still an economic advantage by Titan as Titan was able to hold off ever so barely. There are two spine crawlers here and a lot of roaches on the ramp now. Army combinations, you can see Hawk does have that stronger army, but there is not enough to really break that front door and the advantage going to Titan. But now Hawk is establishing a stronger food army advantage and now also getting up another base. 38 drones versus 34 nine roaches versus seven there are still a lot more lings so those lings should be able to give hawk a strong um strong army presence and perhaps deny any expansions the zerglings however are simply staying off on this side of the map here more spawn larva coming in from home as we can see the overlord is just trying to take a look at the saturation trying to keep track of the gas he knows that his opponent is only running off of three gas at this time as the roaches once again make another move across the center portion revealing themselves once again the production tab shows that we are going into infestors and interestingly enough we are not getting the pathogen glands first so without these pathogen glands these infestors will only have 50 energy as they pop as opposed to 75 that additional 25 energy at the start very very strong as titan now going back into even more drones trying to make sure that he stays ahead on the economic lead zerglings now testing the waters as well there is one evolution chamber here the zerglings gonna try to poke their way through unable to do so and i'm still surprised that we don't have any weapons upgrade coming in from titan infestors are now being added as well Infestors do move significantly faster on creep, so one of those double-edged swords where you want your infestors to move more quickly, but then again, a hydralist then also coming online. And as soon as that hydralist then morphs into play, those hydralists get a 50% movement speed up bonus on creep. And I believe that Hawk really wants to spread out his creep even further. An overseer now coming in, dropping in a changeling as well. And that changeling going to be able to just sit around and get a lot of scouting information. So interesting um, use getting that changeling there. That changeling just walking around down over here. That changeling does not have the metabolic boost upgrade. So it only moves at a 2.95, not a 4.7 but he is going to have that bonus from um, speed creep there so that will definitely help him as those zerglings perhaps trying to test the waters roaches down over here as well those zerglings may not be able to run by oh able to get off of all of the roaches attacking one zergling so that one zergling does get melted away with a little bit of extra um, absorbing more damage and making sure no more zerglings were destroyed army compositions are fairly even 2650 versus 2300 a slightly higher gas army by titan with the addition of those infestors four infestors sitting on the ramp will be able to get off a fungal growth or two as the as the infestors are just sitting in midfield and no a burrow yet we are now getting into level two missile upgrades by hawk so hawk is definitely gonna benefit from the groove spines and the level two weapons upgrade and titan doesn't have any upgrades that may be his downfall in a one-on-one -on -one battle you obviously know that those hydralis and those roaches with the superior upgrades will be able to win 
And now it's looking like Hawk with the stronger mineral army and also with those upgrades may be able to make a move in just a moment. But it's really going to be the balancing act on those infestors. Now remember, infestors deal more damage to roaches than they do hydralis. And, and that those fungal growths will also play a very important role as well. Roaches am now escorting these infestors. And who is going to get the better concave? As you can see that those overlords are just spewing creep right now. 3,600. So a stronger total resource army by Hawk as an infestation pit also coming down as well. Level 2 weapons upgrade about to be completed. We are getting these overlords in position here. Um, these overlords just taking a look around and pretty much been able to spot the entire portion. And now Titan also training up and dumping a lot of his minerals into spine crawlers. You can see that he has um, what... Three, so five spine crawlers down in the center portion of the map. This one being morphed into play. And he still has a slight drone advantage. So these spine crawlers with a range of seven do deal a lot of damage. Especially to um, armored units as well. And they also have a decent amount of range. They also um, are able to move fairly quickly. So if there is a lot of creep coverage. Perhaps these spine crawlers will be able to start pushing across the map. Zergling is looking to perhaps do a run by. But will not get any serious damage at all. One Zergling on the inside just wants to do a quick scout. And make sure that there is no expansion here. There is in fact none. And now Titan can do a little bit of a sigh of relief. As Hawk getting very close to 200 food. Titan not too far behind. 28 food back there. As we are now also going into the ventral sacks and the pneumatized carapace. So Zergling still wandering around. Oh Zerglings quickly getting poked apart there. As we are now getting a lot of investors. Nine infestors in this group, all of them, or a lot of them with maximum energy, some of them um, down to uh, d enough to have 75. So uh, this is going to be a lot of fungal growth. That is going to be a lot of chaining. And once one fungal growth hits, a lot of more growth can continue to spread, shutting down a lot of armies indeed. We will soon be running off of four bases as it looks like we are finally getting up to 200 food. Hawk now looking and taking this time as he wants to make sure that he keeps his uh, food uh, army advantage. Overlords are going to get shot down. One overlord now down here. Another overlord may get taken down over here as well as we are going to get a very, very nice flank. Um, uh, in comes one uh, one infestor. Infestor now taking down another infestor coming down. Roach is coming in from south over here. A lot of damage being dealt on both sides and now infested Terrans coming in. The infestors need to pull back. The Roaches are continuing to push and a lot of damage damage has been dealt both sides trading armies right now but in comes another fungal growth and this may be a problem as titan now trying to go after those infestors and infestors are being are getting taken down those are the expensive units in this battle and hawk losing a lot of his infestors pretty needlessly and that is going to be a very very heavy hit as you can see so many of the infestors from titan staying alive and titan really benefiting you can take a look at the mineral portion of this army much much stronger but the gas portion tells a completely different story. Double the size in gas. Now, we can also see Hawk currently sitting on about 2,400 resources. He should be able to just um, just macro up very, very easily once more. A couple spawn larvas and a lot of minerals means an instantaneous army could be coming back in in just a moment. Infestors. Sitting in the modal portion here, also now loading up roaches into these overlords. So we may have perhaps a bit of a doom drop as well, as Titan is now getting five additional spine crawlers. So five more spine crawlers being uh, morphed in. Where are they being morphed in? I don't even see them. Um, no, five spine crawlers by Hawk. So Hawk now getting a static defense of his own over here on the front door in order to be able to push back, but it is not going to be able to attack the air. Titan going to be able to perhaps shut down this hatchery over here and now limit the bases of his opponent. Extractor is also coming into play as well. Taking a look at the harvester count, 74 to 71. Drones now making their way over, but the I do not believe any of these roaches... Oh, it does have 1-1 one, one upgrades, but no 2-2 two, two upgrades as the roaches are now pushing in and now going after a queen. A queen does get sniped down already. Where are those roaches going? Those roaches are now engaging over here. They should not be trying to engage the rest of the swarm. That was a really, really bad call. Now finally going after some of those other drones instead. It looks like the drones will get taken down, but this was a really bad trade as we now see an army moving out through the center, baiting away all of those units. There are also a lot of infestors in the center portion of the map. This may become a problem. Infest fungal growth now hitting off a lot of those units there and now continuing to try to attack. Infestors also dropping some infested Terrans as the roaches are arriving to the party very, very late. 
all of these spine crawlers may get taken down. As there are also a lot of Overlord, but a lot of these infested Terrans now going after the Overlords. And Hawk may be in trouble as he may become supply blocked as Overlord after Overlord getting shot down. This is gonna definitely hurt Hawk as Hawk is now losing a lot of these Overlords. And now being forced to train up seven more Overlords to stay in this game. Now it's important to know that Hawk is currently supply blocked, but not only that, he is forced to use 10 Larva in order to train up overlords and that means that is going to be 10 larvae that cannot be morphed into units and that is going to create a very nice window of opportunity for another attack that is happening right now but only eight roaches here so eight roaches quickly making their way in taking down a queen now going after perhaps some of those key tech buildings no instead going after some, the drones instead no they are burrowing so we have four roaches burrowed over here. Nothing turning into overseers just quite yet. It looks like we may have a burrow. No, no, yeah, one burrow there as the roach is now re-engaging. And now another drop coming in. And this one, better time. There's going to be 20 roaches in this drop off to the north here. And this drop is going to just deal a lot of damage. Perhaps sniping this one hatchery. You can see the drones are getting taken down. And now going after the hatchery, the hatchery... Um, and uh, some of those drones, those drones are going to be forced to do some mineral or uh, some long distance mining in just a moment as these roaches finally engage over here. The roaches are going to perhaps split themselves up in multiple locations and these roaches are going to be able to burrow once again as the roaches are now trying to go after those very expensive infestors. And once again, Hawk losing those infestors. He cannot afford to lose those very, very gas intensive infestors. And once again, losing a lot of those units. Roach is now re-engaging once more. These roaches may unburrow to go after this infester over there. Now that infester has been taken down. And the infester count is rather low. No more infestors. But we are going to be going into Ultralis. Titan now making another move with a lot of these roaches. And those uh, Ultralis though now clumping together. And those Ultralis. Oh, in comes another fungal growth. Massive fungal growth coming in over here. A lot of these roaches taking in so much damage. Another fungal growth coming in once more. Ultralis trying to chomp away. It looks like Hawk does have a very large army right now and may be able to counter push this. This is looking very, very bad, but we have 27 roaches and 12 zerglings being retrained up right now. Will those Ultralis be able to break through this front door? There are nine, count them, nine spine crawlers here, and they are all very well spread apart, meaning that those Ultralis are not going to be able to get that much splash damage at all if any another oh sorry i thought there was perhaps another drop here titan hiding a roach next to this hatchery and not being able to burrow or build that hatchery there and that is just absolutely hilarious uh, another funny thing is that titan's own overlords are spewing creep and that's what's actually keeping these um, larvae alive here as that is that larva actually going to stay alive he's just wandering off almost off the creep there and now just um, finally picking up that roach. Now going after some of these drones. Drones will get taken down. One drone gets taken down. And now going after some larvae instead. You can see also the roach is finally making another maneuver here. It looks like he was trying to hide. It doesn't look like he'll be successful. Quickly going to get taken down. Now in the center portion of the map we are going into a, a spire. We are going into nine more and count them nine more spine crawlers freeing up some food and this is going to become very important we also see it on a large amount of gas 3,000 gas so as soon as titan trades this army he should be able to get into a, a flock or a murder of mutilus very very quickly spine crawlers will be able to hold that front tour a lot of static defense um, spine crawlers able to fight back pretty easily there you can see now sitting up at 2500 gas roach is continuing to try to drop try to drop try to pick up their right location unable to do so roaches do burrow rather quickly and that is going to be a very very bad day as those roaches are quickly just going to unburrow and shut down the rest of those roaches here drones now doing more long distance mining i think titan um titan with a smaller army right now he is just going to try to i guess sacrifice his roach army but he has to be careful. He needs to free up supply. But he cannot just go uh, just attack here uh, like this. Ultralists are now pushing in very quickly. Ultralists are fungal growth, but they do not get slowed down or stopped at all. Spine crawlers finally joining in on this engagement. Ultralists now pushing in. In comes some more fungal growths here. And now both sides dropping a lot of infested terrains. It looks like the spine crawlers are doing their damage. But now count 30, count them 30 mutilists being added into the air and we can have even more in just a moment all we are waiting on is larva 43 mutilist 86 food and this tech switch is gonna be a complete 
complete surprise to Vile. I do not believe Vile is going to be able to respond to this at all. As Infestors are now making their way in, you can see a lot of Mutalists gathering in the center portion of the map. The Mutalists do not have level 1 weapons upgrade at all, but they what they um, are lacking in terms of upgrades, they will recover in speed. There is no anti-air except for Infestors, and those Infestors um, are going to just have their heart sink now as the Overlords spot this just flock of Mutalists, 43 Mutalists in the air looking to just dominate the skies. Overlords are going to get shut down. And this is not looking good. You can see the Glaive Worms chaining, getting in so much damage. And now Zerglings finally coming in as well to try to finish up the rest of that ground army. Mutalis going after those Ultralis. No fungal growth that I can see. You can see that those Infestors are currently burrowed. Ultralis trying to go after those targets. But the Mutalis move so, so quickly that they're going to be able to shut down these Roaches and attack move. There are a lot of Spine Crawlers here. The Spine Crawlers are going to start impaling those Ultralis once more. And now the Mutalis is going to finish off the rest of these Ultralis. Ultralis do have a decent amount of armor, but they just cannot stand up to the sheer numbers of Titans Mutalis. You can see 190 food, 100, 200 food once again coming back in. 18 more Roaches being added. As I believe these Mutalists are going to be able to just end the game. 34 Mutalists are just owning the skies now. 88 food over 120. Mutalists flocking into this location. Going to be able to shut down um, this hatchery very, very quickly. You can see Hydralis then once again trying to be rebuilt. Um, as no Hydralis were being trained up at all. Infestor is now coming in. But a very nice split on these Mutalists, making sure that they did not clump together. Hydral or Ro Hydralists are now finally engaging down over here. Mutalists co continue to swarm around. I believe that is going to be the GG as Roaches are now coming back in once more. As soon as Infestors and Hydralists were trained up, 16 Roaches coming in and there's the GG by Hawk. Titan winning game 3 in this best of 3 or best of 7 series, excuse me. If you guys want to watch the rest of the Wednesday Night StarCraft series between VV Gaming and Vile, go ahead and check out Matron's channel. The games will be posted up shortly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.